The Queen has attended UK ceremonies marking the centenary of the Gallipoli campaign in World War I. Earlier, she took part in a two-minute silence before laying a wreath at the Cenotaph in Whitehall. The Queen was joined by the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince William, and party leaders at the Memorial Parade. She later joined a service of remembrance at Westminster Abbey, where she laid a wreath at the grave of the unknown warrior. A second day of services is also taking place in Australia, Turkey, and New Zealand to mark the centenary. Allied Operation the national flags of Australia, New Zealand, Turkey, and the UK were carried through Westminster Abbey and placed close to the high altar as a sign of reconciliation between old enemies. The eight-month campaign on the Gallipoli Peninsula in Turkey was one of the bloodiest of the war and the first to involve troops from Australia and New Zealand. The Allied operation was an attempt to force the Ottoman Empire out of the war. The Very Reverend Dr. John Hall, Dean of Westminster, told the congregation, we honor today the courage of the men at Gallipoli. The memory of the Great War provides for us warning and encouragement. We are warned that war must involve terrible suffering and death. We are encouraged by the spirit of national pride and determination shown by those we remember this Anzac Day. At dawn the Prince of Wales, together with Prince Harry, attended a ceremony at the Anzac commemorative site in Turkey. At the Cenotaph, the Queen joined crowds paying tribute to the 131,000 troops who died during the Gallipoli campaign, including some 25,000 British military personnel and 10,000 from Australia and New Zealand. Descendants of veterans and representatives from countries involved in the operation attended the ceremony. And the principal party leaders, breaking off from the general election campaign, were also in attendance. Earlier, the Princess Royal took part in a dawn service at Hyde Park Corner, where crowds gathered to watch her laying a wreath at Wellington Arch. And the Duke of Edinburgh joined a service of remembrance at St. Paul's Cathedral in London. At dawn on April 25, 1915, thousands of Allied troops launched an amphibious attack on the strategically important Gallipoli Peninsula, which was key to controlling the Dardanelles Strait, a crucial route to the Black Sea and Russia.